the stimulating youth leadership meeting it is organized by eloquent speaking to masters club i indian sir kumar will be your sergeant at arms for today let me start by saying the toast masters mission the mission of a toast masters club is to provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills resulting in greater self confidence and personal growth dear toast masters and youth leaders toast master international allows us to speak on any subject of value except sex religion and and politics i request all the speakers to avoid speaking on this subjects i would also request everyone to mute their microphone except the person in control of the lectern now i would like to pass over the lectern to our dtm rao sir sir the stage is all yours sir so you are muted thank you so much youth leader inian sivakumar for that wonderful opening of our today's session good evening my dear youth leaders and guests assalam alaikum i hope all are good doing good assalam and all your exams are finished i know that some more youth leaders are about or waiting to attempt their examinations but in any case as i discussed with the parents that they are happy that we are coming back on track why our program derailed for some time as you all know that to facilitate opportunity to concentrate on your examinations who are mainly in 8th standard to 12th standard and i am happy to know that all our youth leaders 80% i can say that they completed and attempted the examinations in a good manner and also tasted the success in your academic exams congratulations to you all secondly i would like to welcome you all back and request you all to please put on your cameras on i know the bandwidth will have heavy weight in respect to the communication itself but we need to know that we are talking each other like for example on my right i have youth leader from group a sara harris and i am talking with her on my downside youth leader vanya on my left side youth leader inian is there and of course all the youth leaders are surrounding us am i right it will be it we all feel will feel happy if we see the people speaking with them with our body language facial expressions hand gestures correct so do you all remember what i told you maybe one month before or one and a half month before how to shake hand with your fellow youth leaders are guests through virtual can anyone show if you remember yes benjamin tell me the virtual claps thanks how to greet how to greet your fellow youth leader 
the clap thing no yes which one how it is okay clapping is okay how how this virtual clapping is okay this is number 1 number 2 forgot everyone forgot oh my god no no see okay i will tell you again let me see who are in screen to anyone can tell rebecca you also forgot george abdullah john rayan rais jubair forgot how to greet your fellow youth leader on the screen oh vanya evelyn come on osama Usman, so is the reaction button the reaction button okay that is okay that is okay any other okay fine so you hadn't told yes come on speak out okay i will tell you i will explain you okay for example as i told you that i have on my right hand side indian shiv kumar and on my left hand side sara haris and with me vanya is there needa is there okay if i want to say hi hello hi nian hello sara right so when you touch your screen walls like this everyone put your hands like this then clap see you can clap right am i right yeah how good it is i'm feeling happy i can say hi to sara i can say hi to inian vanya oh fantastic feeling see if you put off your camera i'm speaking only with me i don't know what you people are doing of course you are very gentleman right very good youth leaders you are all for sure you will not play at the back of the screen when you put off but still it will give more energy motivation to the speaker especially just look yourself in the shoes of the speaker so that you all will come to know that how much energy you will get when you are speaking to your fellow youth leaders or a group of audience how many we are here with us today in this meeting quickly 32 yes that's the quickly 32 32 very good very good very good fantastic right so we have 32 people here and we are speaking with the 32 people how much confidence you need to have to speak to express your feelings see this is a small sort of speech i did today almost 10 minutes already and i am overshoot i am disqualified correct <laughs> okay so coming back to our normal session today we are going to have workshop on zoom platform why i kept this particular session is that any contest either it is toastmasters contest or gavelier contest or youth leadership grand finale that is also a contest right raise your thumb virtual thumb so that i can come to know that you are responding to my speech or you can say the address okay so any contest now since we are having online how can we become success how can we be number 
how can we be the one among the winners? Okay, here I will tell you two things. One is contestant. The other one is winner, correct? Here, each and every youth leader is, will be a contestant in the Youth Leadership Program 2020 Grand Finale, correct? That itself is a success. I am telling you all from the beginning that don't feel bad if you are not going to win. You, you should feel proud that you are one of the contestant, correct? I feel like that personally. I will not bother about whether I win or lose, but I will put my efforts to become a winner. I will put my efforts for sure. But to put efforts in order to see the success, what are all the requirements here in the youth leadership program or any oh, yeah. program or any Toastmasters program or any conference or contest in your life? In what your life. you need to put what efforts? To hard work. Hard Number work. one is hard work. Yes, Number very good. Number two. Do your best. Consistent okay, do your practice, self-confidence. Okay. Yeah, by doing practice, yeah. by doing practice you, will you will get the confidence. You will gain the confidence, number one. Recently, I told best. to Gavalier Neda. Your voice is Gavalier Neda. Oh, okay, now, Recently, I met uh, Gavalier Nida and I told her, if we have the confidence, the success will be with you always. If you don't have the confidence, yes, sir. try to gain the confidence. How to get the confidence? Keep on speaking, keep on speaking, keep on speaking like me. I started at maybe around seven, six or seven, eight. Now it is seven, eighteen. I'm keeping on talking, 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 talking. I'm fond of because of this quality. I'm telling you again, because of this quality, I got confidence to speak even with the CEO of a company. Just I will knock the door directly. And I will say, may I come in? Without having his or her permission, I will enter into that room and I will start speaking on my own, whatever I want to speak. That confidence, youth leaders or gaveliers, everyone should have it. You will only get it when you will ready to speak. But I'm not saying that to speak anything rubbish, huh? Point to point, right? I have a friend actually. He, no, she. She will speak like a, anything, whatever she wants to. And she will not mind whether that talk is relevant to that situation or not. So that also we have to keep in mind. Okay? So, my dear youth leaders, today we are going to have this workshop because the upcoming grand finale and our mock sessions, we need to perform by delivering our speeches, whether it can be international speech or table topic speech. What we need to have, one is the confidence. Second one is the practice on what you are going to deliver. Third one is that the platform on which 
you are going to perform delivering your speech should be set right. Am I correct? If you don't have a qualitative platform, like for example, in the olden days, like six months back, you can say that when we were having the physical meetings, we used to work a lot to make the platform for the contestants the whole night. We used to put the wood racks, wooden racks on that carpet, on that a nice carpet, and then we will put a podium to speak by the guests. And we will put a nice cushioned platform for the contestants to deliver without having any problem. And we will mark the edges. This is your speaking area. You can cross, you can come out of your speaking area. But if you come out, there will be some hurdles for the judges to show about yourself. Maybe when you are doing your body language, you may fall down from the stage. That is why we are marking the speaking area. Some of the youth leaders might have been known like Benjamin, Vanya, Indian, right? You are all known, you have experienced those days, right? So here on the Jew platform, again, coming back to the traditional to the modern. What is modern? Online. Examinations online, classes online. Suppose you are a teacher, your class teacher is saying something and you are like this. What she or he will uh, assume whether you are sleeping or whether you are listening her class, right? So you should be attentive like this. You have to show your face with widen your eyes and changing your expressions whether you are smiling or uh, teacher, come on, stop it. Or, oh, very good teacher, fantastic subject. Something expression should you should show. Otherwise, teacher will get down and she will say, okay, bye-bye. I will spend my, with my children. You spend with your games or you sleep. We don't bother, right? And ultimately, she will give you less marks in your internals if you are not paying attention. Same thing will happen also here. If you are not paying attention to the technology part, then the modern era judges, you all know that for the grand finale, we are going to have a chief judge and chief judge will bring not less than 10 judges so that what is their job? To pick the best out of the best. This is the word which we are using in the Toastmasters. The best out of the best. Because each and every youth leader here is the best only. But among these best youth leaders, of course, all the five fingers are not same. Some are long, some are short. So those differences also there among the youth leaders, among the cavaliers, among the toastmasters, among the human being. Will you agree? But yes. listen one thing, that the weak person, for example, you can say the little finger, for example, can fight with the elder brother with intelligence. You know, so we all not even the same with our intellectual thing, but the short person can fight, can see the success, can defeat the tallest, stout person also. Correct? Will you agree? So please. Pay attention on today's workshop. 
it is an interactive session don't think that he will he will speak on he will speak on he will speak on and we all will get sleep no he will make us awake he will speak with us he will observe our weak points in respect to the technology and he will give you advices this is the best part what is the best part is he will give advices to us how to improve our lighting like if you see me you can see the light right i am very much bright than before i have not placed any powder huh? it's natural by the way but because of this light you will see that what is that light because of this light i got more brightness on my face and i'm looking of course handsome today because of this this lighting because of this workshop presenter you will come to know that who is this great personality he is my best friend in the toastmasters fraternity after i joined in the toastmasters fraternity in 2016 the person one of the best person i met is this gentleman and he served to the toastmasters fraternity at its best level yeah by the way i request everyone please rename your screens this is important to safeguard our cyber security some people by taking the meeting id and password they are entering into the meeting hall and they are doing some mess up we don't want to see such disturbances in our meeting so everyone please change your screens including guests if if he or she are a parent please put guest in in front of your name and i would like to see all your cameras on let me check it out quickly sam thomas how are you fine sir fantastic parent of arosh anas karim ec ec means sir EC Anas Karim, may I know who is this? Good evening, sir. Very good evening. Who is this? Uh, may I see your face, if you don't mind? Uh, my name is Anas Karim, and I am from um, other workshop, active communication workshop. What is that, sir? Actually, I'm sorry. Active communication workshop. active communication workshop okay so you came here as a guest right yes sir okay may i request you to please uh, prefix your name with guest also if you don't mind thank you so much for uh, okay. coming to this meeting to witness this great workshop in another 5 minutes we are going to start let me quickly go through the thank screen you. names yeah and i would like to acknowledge our area 52 director toastmaster merlin albin hearty welcome toastmaster merlin albin our area 52 director uh good evening uh uh you kids and good evening dtm rao a very special good evening to toastmaster jayad and all the best enjoy the session thank you thank you so much ma'am for being with us thank you madam sabina may i request uh, may i acknowledge your presence and uh, i would like to know about a brief from you ma'am madam sabina madam sabina sabina s 
I just move. I speak here. Move. It's, 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 yeah. But I, yes, sir. yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Uh, one minute. I was on another call, so my mobile is off. Uh, I was actually I'm not uh, okay. I was on a call. Uh, I am the headmistress of the kindergarten section of IIS the ma'am. Uh -huh. uh, yes, sir. What else would you like to know? Welcome, madam. Welcome, madam. Actually, I just want to know that uh, so, so that you know, just want to take care about the cyber security. So we acknowledge you, madam. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so I think rest are all good. Screens are fantastic. So let us welcome my best friend, one of the best working with our District 79 technology team. And I would like to acknowledge also, would like to thanks on behalf of uh, Youth Leadership Program 2020 team to our uh, District 79 technology team, the technology manager, distinguished Toastmaster Farheen Said. On behalf of all of us, please give her a thunderous round of applause because uh, they are giving support to us for our smooth execution of our meetings. And they are the backbone of this technology. And today we have Toastmaster Jaya George with us. He is one of the member, team member of D District 79 technology team and supporting District 79 in respect to the technology is concerned, Zoom platform, and today he agreed to present a workshop, interactive workshop with all for all our youth leaders. Thank you so much, sir. And please join your virtual round of applause to welcome our Toastmaster Jaya George. The virtual platform is with you, sir. A fantastic good evening to all the youth leaders and thank you so much for coming today. First of all, how is everyone doing? All good? I just want a thumbs up. Excellent. Okay. Now the reason I am only viewable to this distance is because I have raised my laptop. So during the presentation, I will explain why these different heights and framework, distance, audio, your clarity, visibility, lighting, everything counts. So during the session, I will talk, talk about all this in detail. Now, let me just remove this chair and I'll show you first the position, okay? Great. Now I'll be presenting. I just want a thumbs up. Am I audible to everyone? Yes? Perfect. Okay. Now you can understand from this alone that your laptop, I'm using a laptop. So your laptop has the power to capture the voice at this distance. I'm not sure what is the distance between the laptop and myself, but there's ample space for me to present and there's ample distance for me to move, move forward and backward. These are all the basics which you need for presenting your speech. Now let me come to point number one. How many of you are using a desktop machine? One, two, three. Okay. And how many of you are using laptops? Okay. How many of you are using smartphones? There are a few. Fair enough. Now, the effectivity of each and every device is to be noted for. Because now you have noted that if it's a desktop or a laptop, you have the freedom and you have the clarity, the visibility. Okay. Now, when you are connecting an audio device, if at all you are connecting an audio device, I strongly suggest that you test it well in advance so you can, you can have a clear communication between the Zoom 
software and your computer. It's always, it's not always necessary that a high quality Bluetooth headset or a wired headset should be as clear as how I am presenting to you all. Now, the very first moment, what I've asked is, am I audible? Everyone said yes. That is the best part. So I am suggesting not to use any extra audio devices. You are practically free. If you have the big headset on your head, it's actually an added burden. So while you are presenting, this will create a burden for you. You don't have the freedom of presenting what you have to do. Now I'm freely holding a pen and a paper and look at the hand gestures going on. It's very free. I'm completely comfortable. Okay, I'm coming into the camera frame. I'm coming to that point. So what I'm trying to say is that you are perfectly comfortable in your speaking area at the distance. Okay, so you can present yourself perfectly without any hindrances on your body. Now you are very used to wearing a watch. So it's not even, you don't know that it's there, but all of a sudden you're using a headset or an earpiece wired or wireless, it creates a burden for you. So just make sure, of course, laptops do have the microphone built in. However, desktops is a different story, but if you have a wired or wireless headset, please do make sure that it's completely audible, okay? The, the level of clarity varies when it's direct and when it's through a wired headset and when it's through a wireless headset, all will vary. You guys all have to make sure about that, okay? Now, at any point of time, DTM Rao will be keeping a check on the virtual hand raised, okay? At any point of time, if you have any questions, please do feel free to raise your hands and DTM Rao will unmute you and you can talk, okay? Perfect. Now, lighting, okay? I, there is, in this room where I'm presenting, there is a set of tube lights on my right and left, okay? But however, there is no light in front of me. Right now, I have actually used an extra source of light. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to raise my laptop. I quickly show it to you. Okay, this is me presenting, and this is the source of light. Excellent. Perfect. Everyone got it? Right. Now, this source of light, I can adjust it in two ways. Okay, there is the bright white luminescence and there is the off-white luminescence. It is preferred for you to check yourself on the webcam on which light is comfortable for you. In the sense, what I'm trying to say is that when you're presenting, you have a complexion. Now for that complexion to stand out in front of the camera, the webcam especially, the adjustment of the light has to be noted for. Now this is put on off-white. It's not pure white, it's off-white. So that actually, look at my, look, I'm very visible in front. If I switch that off, you can note a tremendous change in my complexion. That makes another difference on when you're presenting your speech. Has anyone, has anyone have any doubts? Now, when you are setting up your laptop or desktop or a smartphone in your room for doing the speech, you'll have to look into the lighting. It is very necessary. If at all, any point of time, you have a light source right above your head, it will only create a shadow. It will only create a shadow. Now, as I'm picking it up, this is where the light source is coming from, and now I'm hiding it it creates a shadow. Likewise, if it's straight above your head, it creates a shadow on your face. So it darkens it off. That makes a huge difference. So this is with the lighting. In addition, there are other sources of light. The thing is, this is 
an LED board light. Okay. You can get ring lights or even if it's possible, more easier, you can keep a lamp. A lamp, you can remove either the cover and expose the bulb. Okay. But that should be also to a certain lumen, lumens or the brightness. So that will affect you. Okay. So you can check out all these kind of different sources, different types of lighting and check where you are maximum visible. Reminding you, you have any doubts, just raise your virtual hands. Let's move on to point number two, stage presence. See, I am feeling the maximum freedom to show my hand gestures. Is it? So I'm showing my maximum freedom. See, I am having this entire room for me, this entire speaking area there. See, I'm marking it out. See, there's a lot. See, look at that. I am having a lot of space with me. However, it's not necessary that you have to have the laptop webcam open to show three fourths of your body. This is just half, more than enough more than enough. This itself is showing your eye movements. It's very clear. I'm looking straight at the webcam. This itself is showing the hand gestures, right? And you can take two to three steps to your right or to your left. Got it? When you're marking your area, now when you have set up this boundary, Feel free to mark your area. You can take a piece of tape, okay? And you can mark it over here and you can practice. You can keep it there for the contest. There's no issues at all. So you will have, you virtually, you'll have it in your mind that yes, this is my, the maximum I can go. And through to this side, to the left side, this is the maximum you can go. And look, now I'm moving so freely and look. So free. Now, when you want to emphasize on something very close, you can zoom into you. You can move directly to the camera. See? And when you're done, when you're coming back to your position, you can move on to your center position. Perfect. Okay. Again. Like I've said, when you are setting, maybe a bit more, right? I'm just picking up myself, maybe a bit more, right? This is fair enough. And you have to have ample space between your head and the camera frame, okay? So this is giving a clear picture to all the audience, virtual audience, and not to forget the judges. Now, it's a virtual world. Nothing is perfect. Sometimes we might get a tendency to keep the notes open in front of the screen. That's dangerous. Now the judges are very keenly because your videos are spotlighted. We call this option spotlight. So it is being enhanced and all the other videos are either on the top or on the side, right? But you are focused. Yes, someone has raised their hands. DJ Rao. The one problem is that when you uh, spotlight a video. Um, you clear, Vanya, could you say it again? Yeah, so the, there's one problem when you uh, spotlight a video. You can't pin anyone's uh, camera or anything. So it's not possible for us to pin the timer when we are spotlighted. I actually, yes, I have a solution for that. The thing is, yeah. The thing is, Zoom from the beginning has advanced so much that they have added so many more features so what we as the technology team and we are supporting the Zoom platform for your contest, we will be spotlighting 
two people. Okay. One is the contestant. Okay. The second will be the timer. So it's not only one person that we can spotlight. We can spotlight up to four people on the screen. But for now, yes, but for now, since a contestant is only need to be focused, we'll be for spotlighting the contestant and, and the timer. You have an example right in front of you. So you, one year, is spotlighted along with the timer. So the tech team or the host who will be running the show, will be handling the platform, will be spotlighting the contestant, the timer, and the contest master. Once the contest master introduces you, he or she will vanish, and the contestant and the timer will only be available. Great. Okay. Perfect. There. This is multi spotlighting. See, now there is another candidate spotlighted. We can multiple spotlights are available. Oh, understood? All good? I believe that has answered your question. Thumbs up. Sir, uh, if you just spotlighted, I couldn't see the spotlight video now. And speaker view. Okay. Now, if you could click, there is on the extreme right side corner, there is a view button. If you click on the view button, there is gallery view. Okay. Now, stick on gallery view. Now, DTM Rao is going to again spotlight you and the timer. Now it should change. DTM Rao, please. Okay, now you are spotlighted. Now he's going to spotlight the timer. Okay, now we have Jisha here. Now, Wanya, do you see yourself and Jisha on the video? No, sir. No, okay, Jisha, do you find yourself spotlighted along with Wanya on your side? Yes, sir. I do see myself spotlighted. Okay. Do you see Wanya? Yes, I do. There. Okay. Wanya, the thing is there might be a small tweak which might be required on your Zoom view. The way you're Zoom viewing, there might be a small tweak which, which might be required to show yourself who is spotlighted and the additional spotlight. Okay. I can see it only when you spotlight one person, sir. I think I might have to update my Zoom, but I'm not really sure. Usually it comes if you want to update the uh, Zoom. I have updated my Zoom on the other laptop, but I just don't know how to update it on this laptop. Okay. For all the Gavalier's information, now since, now since Zoom is open in your laptop, smartphones, or whatever, what you have to do is go to, there is the taskbar on the extreme right side of your corner of the laptop or the desktop computer. Now on the zoom icon, just right click, you'll get a pop-up notification with all kinds of about exit, forget about get Click on check for updates. Okay. Click on check for updates. Immediately you'll check and a pop-up will come. Once you exit, the Zoom, once you finish up the meeting and you exit the Zoom, it will automatically start updating. Okay, everyone should do it and I recommend everyone to do it. Okay, Sir, I didn't now, with regard to spotlighting again. Sir, I think the taskbar is only available in Lenovo laptops. No, it's available in laptops. Laptops or desktop computers. Yes, Benjamin. Taskbar is not available. No, not the taskbar. One second, Benjamin, I'm coming back to you. Not the taskbar, actually. On your extreme right, there is the volume control, there is the battery, there is the time, and all like that. Have you noticed that? On the right side, bottom. Yes, right. sir. So, do you see a zoom icon over there? Yes, sir. Right click on that, and you'll find up a pop up coming up, right? Okay, yes, sir. Check for updates. That's the option over there. Oh, yes, okay. sir. I got it. I got it. My daughter. Great. Okay, you can do that at a later time. Yes, Benjamin. No, sir, I got, I got, I got it. I got it. Okay, fine, fair enough. Now, people might have, I'm not talking about myself, it can be anyone, it can be anyone. 
they might have many things at the background. Now you might have found that the lighting is perfect at one specific area where you want to do the, where you want to perform the speech. However, there is either quite a lot of things at the back, right? You might be thinking, is that good? Is that, should that be there or not? The thing is, you have a choice. You have a choice. Either you can put a simple cloth, okay, on, th on that furniture with single color so you can clear it off. Uh, why is Tisha spot like this? Just give me a second. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much, Dijin Rao. Okay. Now, if you don't want to expose the furniture at the back, here it's okay. Fine. I'm also comfortable with this. But if you don't want to, you have the freedom of stretching a line and hanging a clear cloth, a solid color cloth. So you can have a clear background. Right? That is an option. It's not necessary. It's an option if you want to, because the main reason I'm emphasizing on this is because virtual backgrounds are not allowed. Seriously, virtual backgrounds at any cost is not allowed. So if you want to have a clear background, now you, you uh, Gavalier Jisha is having a perfectly white background. Now, uh, one year is having a perfectly green background. If you want to do it like that, you can hang a piece of cloth, which is big enough to cover your background or big enough just to have your camera area covered. So you will be in front of it and you don't have to bother about anything what's going on in the background. You're perfectly clear. You have your stage, you have a clear background and you can perform. If at all, you don't have the facility or the chance to do it, not to worry. I'm just giving you options. Don't worry at all about it. Now, Neha, yes, you clear Neha, you have a background with your bookshelf on the side, exactly. You have a bookshelf on your side, you have the chair, you have a bed at your back. See, it's a good background, so you can use this. When you move your chair away, you have the whole area to yourself, okay? I'm just suggesting different options, it's not necessary. Benjamin, you have a door at the back, okay? So either, Either you can keep it closed. Yeah, it's suggested that you clean, close. Why do you have a gap? <laughs> Benjamin, you have animations. <laughs> you have animations, I didn't know that. Cool, okay. See, now Benjamin has a door at his background. So whenever you are performing, keep the door closed. So you won't have any source of distraction. Okay, that's another point. You have to make sure you don't have any distractions from anyone in, in the house or from outside. At any point of time, if you are using a cell phone, you can remove it from this project. If you are using a cell phone, keep it on mute, not vibration, because now the cell phone's vibration is so strong at any solid surface, it's very audible. That will distract you and the audience will hear it. Not to forget the judges. So this is all distractions and the judges might, might note it. It's not that they should, they might note it. So it's a distraction for you. Okay. Another point in terms of audio, clarity. Now, I am talking at this voice which is perfectly audible for all of you, okay? In this room, there is ample furniture around me, which does not bounce the noise all around, which creates an echo. If you have a room which is pretty empty, it is bound, it is for sure you will create echo. And that creates a disturbance while you're talking because sometimes you might not be able to hear it, but there are chances where the echo 
goes back into the mic and you are heard multiple times that again reduces the quality of your speech so what i would suggest is yes benjamin go okay, ahead go Do you okay, have so anything from, uh, when when our uh, like when our uh, original sound is on right mm, no i didn't understand what you're trying to say sir there's an option named original sound turn on original sound or turn off original sound so if the if the, if the original sound is on that, that then only uh, echo will come right no it's not necessary no it's not necessary the thing is as long as your laptop or desktop or smartphone is capturing your voice directly there should not be any echo and usually these devices don't recreate our voice to create an echo that is what actually nobody wants so by default none of the manufacturers allow that okay if you make okay. see the thing is it depends upon your sound card what sort of a sound card you have on your desktop or laptop second thing smartphone it's a completely different issue okay we can't compare that now in your desktop there might be many options software wise to enhance the audio quality but the thing is it is enhancing the audio quality for you to hear not to talk yes, okay that makes a huge difference now when you are you can uh, unspot it thanks benjamin now when you are talking through a mobile phone the thing is the mobile phones speaker or ear earpiece no not that's earpiece microphone yes the microphone is situated somewhere on this area of the mobile phone but imagine now this has to capture your voice while you're speaking now you keep it on a loud speaker keep it at a level of let's say this is like 2 feet 3 feet and you talk very softly the person on the other side hears you loud and clear it is that sensitive now people think that once you put on loud speaker you can also shout like that no that's not the case the earpiece or the microphone on the mobile phone can capture a voice as far as 10 50 meters even 20 meters you just talk from there the other person like for an example you are talking to someone and so, someone opens the door or rings the bell or something like that. it's audible the person on the other side heard it it is that sensitive so it's not necessary you need a bluetooth earpiece or a wide ear wide headset it's not necessary you have a comfortable room keep the mobile phone at the correct position talk there is no hindrances the mobile phone is as good as a laptop or a desktop for capturing the voice so you don't need all these clunky headsets i'm not blaming you for any of the headsets being used no benjamin you're very audible your headset is working perfectly i'm not blaming anything on that okay cool so that's what in terms of sound quality sound quality always counts now i am continuously talking right and you guys are having a clear audio from your laptops or mobile phones headsets earpieces whatever devices you are using now that is the audio clarity provided from the laptop i'm not using any external sources any external accessories so this is audio clarity got it excellent okay just one more point with regard to the sound in the room some people have tile tile flooring or solid flooring they don't have carpets they don't have soft um mostly we use carpets right or rugs so if you have a rug or a carpet or something like that it would really absorb the voice and dampen the echo okay that happens now if you want to listen let's let's go into a i'm i'm very much an audiophile freak a uv actually so now i've been search researching about sound treatments acoustic panels acoustic treatments of the rooms see when you are listening uh who all likes to listen to music anyone everyone does 
Exactly, everyone does. Now, the way we listen to music makes a huge difference. You listen to a Bluetooth headphone, the clarity of the music or the fidelity of the music differs. You listen, now this headphone which you're listening to, maybe it's like 200 riyals, 300 riyals. Have you ever imagined there are headphones worth 16,000 riyals? Has anyone imagined? There is headphones for 20,000 riyals? Has anyone imagined? Yeah. So, but the thing is, if you are using a small battery or a rechargeable port for the headphones, you can listen to music. But for those 16,000 to 20,000, 50,000 real headphones you have, no wireless connections will work with that. That headphones need power because there is so much of equipment built into that headphone that it needs that power to work it out. Okay, that's headphones. I'm not going so deep into it. It's another massive field. Let's go into the speakers. Okay, who all have sound bars at the house? Yeah, see, many have sound bars. Okay, who all are listening to the music from the television directly? Huh? Oh, come on, Benjamin, you don't have, uh, you don't listen to music? Laptop. You do, right? We listen in, in laptop. Okay, who was the other one who un unmuted herself? Listen through? I listen through laptop mostly, but I also listen through TV. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Now, I don't want to go... Okay, most of you are listening through the laptops. Now, a small example. There is an equipment which connects your television audio and video, uh, television audio to a system called an AVR. Okay, it's called an audio video receiver. Now this audio video receiver captures the sound from the television and gives it out to the speakers. Okay, it's all wired. There's no wireless connections. In a field of audiophile, there's no such thing called wireless connectivity unless and until it is a very high end equipment. Okay, I'm getting to the point. Now the thing is when these speakers play music, okay, how do we measure sound? What is the ter terminology for measuring sound? Decibels. Decibels. Now each speaker has its own range of decibels where it gives out the sound. Okay. Now when in an, in an empty room, if you are playing these speakers, you find playing noise, not sound, nor audio. You find it soundy or noisy, to be frank, to be precise. You don't enjoy the music because it's all noise coming on. Why? Because that noise or that audio coming out or that music coming out from the speakers is not hitting you directly. It's supposed to hit you directly, okay? It's supposed to hit you directly and you're supposed to hear it. However, within that fraction of seconds, it's bouncing all over the wall bouncing up, bouncing down, bouncing all over the wall and coming back to you. So you don't get to say is when you are delivering a speech, if there is a lot of wall space, your audio will bounce, which might create a small amount of echo. For that, you can cushion it. You can use the rugs carpets, anything like that, okay? It's not, again, these are all suggestions. I'm not asking that you should do it. Test your audio, test your video, and you can go ahead with that. Great, okay? Now, when a contestant is performing his or her speech, okay? It is very obvious that the host will disable the chat. No one is allowed to chat during any contest. As a host in various Zoom sessions, we practically turn off the chat session, okay? It's strictly not allowed. 
in case you have any specific doubts or clarifications or any technical issues you are supposed to message the yp manager or you are supposed to take the advice of the yp manager in advance if i face any issues during the contest however you are not being called yet but in case if you are facing any issues what should i do ask the yp director what is to be done if he is asking you to contact him directly via whatsapp keep that whatsapp dialog box open so you can immediately communicate with him and share your issues or problems whatever is going on so he will immediately let you know and you can solve your issues okay great now during the zoom session now when i was called upon to the virtual platform okay i did not move on the mouse click unmute move on the mouse switch on my video no that is actually do you feel it's kind of an irrit irritant when you are using the mouse to go and uh, click on that unmute button coming down click on the video button so you can show yourself learn the shortcuts i strictly would say learn the shortcuts how many of you use excel or powerpoint or word okay many of you do use it okay how many shortcuts do you know in word think i'll give you 5 seconds okay or yes or Wait, wait, wait! I'll ask you. I'll ask you. Hold the answers. Hold the answers. Raise your virtual hands. Did you know? Please note. Okay, we have one. Keep your answers ready. Okay. Youth leader, we have few people raising their hands. Yes, youth leader Osman, please unmute yourself and do answer. Uh, I'm not clear about this answer, but it's maybe Control N or Alt. n to get a new page or uh, and is it control s and uh, control s to save a file and um, only this alt f to uh, open file and um, okay was okay. the file okay. uh -huh. okay are you done yeah great okay Thank you, Osman. Thank you so much. Let's move on to the next youth leader. Okay, that's uh, youth leader Zubair. Yes, yes. Please unmute yourself. Uh, I use command S for uh, saving my Word document, or command Shift S for uh, save saving as you know, changing the name or converting it to PDF, okay. etc. I also use uh, command C for copying files. and okay. uh, text and mm -hmm. command v for uh, pasting them okay That's great it. thank you so much zubair thank you very much anyone else there is at least at least shortcuts at the range of 30 shortcuts for word excel powerpoint there is a tremendous number of shortcuts how i learned most of the shortcuts was because it was pretty evident and uh, unfortunate my mouse started showing problems so when i had requested the person in my company to replace the mouse he took some time not one day not even two days it took at least three days for him to come back with a new mouse and i'm not talking about today or yesterday this was like 10 years ago so it's a long story i used that time to learn i opened a blank excel sheet and i started learning all the shortcuts one by one there is a tremendous number of shortcuts okay hold that that is for microsoft word package let's come back. let's come down to zoom i'm going to be very specific and that's all you guys require actually when you are on your own and you want to quickly unmute yourself Alt A, 
perfect exactly now if you want to temporarily unmute yourself hold this button hold the space hold the space hold the space bar down Oh. Very good, very good. I love that. Thank you so much. It's good that you guys know. How about for switching? All three. All three. All three. All three. All three. All three. Perfect, perfect. Excellent. That's great. That's great. Keep it up. So when you are in any Zoom sessions or any of the contests, and when you are being called upon, next I would like to welcome Youth Leader Benjamin onto the virtual platform. You are there, ready? Alt A, Alt V. You're done. You're set, and you get back to your position. Okay. The sergeant at arms will be contacting at once for testing your mic and your video and your audio and all that. So you'll be ready by that time. You can keep yourself unmuted and your video on, and you can move to your position. Got it? Okay. That will help you a lot. So the sergeant at arms will contact each and every contestant. minutes before the before you perform so just you guys just have to be ready now my laptop battery is getting over let me just give it a connection and i get back to you give me a sec now i'm going to i'm going to grab a seat okay it's it's kind of high i know okay um ttm rao you can uh, remove my spotlight excellent okay now everyone go to your extreme right and go to the view option and click gall gallery gallery view perfect so now all if you are visible to each and every one right Okay, now I'm going to play a small game. Let's see. I'm going to say, close your videos. So it's a game, just for a few minutes. Okay, hold on, hold on. I haven't started yet. I haven't started yet. I'm going to, sorry. I'm going to give you a command, and I want to see how fast you guys can move on it. Right? Okay. One, two, three. Unmute yourself. Hello, sir. <laughs> Hello, sir. I did that thing last time. Everybody thought you're going to uh, switch off your videos. Okay. See, sir, my hand was on Alt A, sir. Alt. Yes, sir. Mine also. Yes, sir. Alt A, sir. Alt A. Okay, exactly. So unmute yourself, As and many of you have unmuted. Okay, hold on, hold on. Mute yourself. Perfect. Okay. Switch off your videos. <laughs> see, see, there are still a few youth leaders who needs to be a bit more quicker. Okay, now everyone, switch on your videos. Sir, oh, I love, I love the way the videos keep flashing. You know, when you switch it on back, awesome. One. Sir, sir, sir. Yeah, what happened? Who is it? Sir, my keyboard is stuck, sir. If I touch Alt and V, not press. If I just touch it like this, my video will turn off. So for me, it is so fast, sir. <laughs> like I am the first one to turn switch on the mic also and turn off the video also. Like it's going very fast. Sir. So what do you call? Okay, everyone's video is on, right? One, two, three. Switch off your videos. <laughs> Oh, Ishan, Karen, come on! You guys have to be faster. Great, thank you so much. Okay, now switch on your videos. I love this when it's popping up. You know, I love it so much. Great. Okay. Now, now these are. Regarding the Zoom, on how you're supposed to perform, how you're supposed to use it, your lighting, and etc., etc. Now I'm going to go one by one. Okay, I'll go with first youth leader Abdullah. Now Abdullah, you're performing for the contest, right? Yes, sir. 
Oh, okay. Okay, Abdullah, I'm going to break for five minutes. Okay, guys, everyone, I'm going to break for five minutes. Okay, I'll get back to you guys and we'll get back. Okay, I'm handing over the lectern to DTM Rao. I'll be back. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, 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 well. So you Thank watch you. Is it? Yes, yes, yes. No worries. I can hear it. I have ears. I will take care. I told to my friend who is sitting next to me. Now he is having water, you know. Well, thank you so much, Toastmaster Jayad, for your untireless workshop till now. Almost 50 minutes, I think. 50 minutes, no one, no one can deliver like this. This is how, you know, you can establish your network in the Toastmasters fraternity. I like this fraternity actually, by the way. This platform really given me so many friends. When I came to Saudi in 2013, I have very few friends in Saudi. After I joined, into this Toastmasters fraternity in 2013. In just one year, believe me, I have a lot of friends in my Facebook, Twitter, whatnot. Thanks to this Toastmasters fraternity platform for giving me the opportunity to expand my wings. Well, so I will ask you some questions now. I will pinpoint to the youth leader. This is a test about your listening skills. Okay. Youth leader Jahin. I will spotlight him. Yes, okay. sir. Youth leader Jahin, I will ask you one question. Oh. Okay, quickly sir. give your answer very quickly huh? because <laughs> I'm also with you. By the way, I'm also learning. Huh? See, this is my notes. One minute, sir. While he has he is delivering his workshop, I noted down, I took notes, whatever I don't know. And now I'm going to ask these questions to you for not forgot in my lifetime. This is how we need to practice. Anyway, youth leader Zahin, can you tell me how to update your Zoom platform in your laptop? In my laptop, you have to press the uh, left click the icon and it will be written check for updates. From where you will left click the icon? Uh, from, from my taskbar. Clearly tell me because he, 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 he told us how to go to the place where you can see the zoom icon and right click, etc. Correct. So please tell to the pinpoint. That is how you have to deliver your speech. My taskbar is on the bottom, the bottom of my laptop. My zoom icon is pinned there. And if I left click, I can check for updates. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good, good, good. If your Zoom icon is not pinned to your taskbar, then? Uh, then I would just check my desktop. My desktop will be there. How? Okay. Uh, Anyone else? Please raise your hand. Uh, raise your hand. Okay. Only one? Only one? Two? What about others? What about others? What happened to Karen? What happened to Devishri? What happened to Divya? Only two. So can you repeat the question? Ah, very good. This is a right question. Okay. <laughs> okay. How you will update your Zoom application? All right. Raise your hands. Now I want to see more hands. Oh my God, 36 people are here. Even if you say 25 youth leaders, 
only five youth leaders are raising your hand. That means what happened to your listening skills? This is very important, my dears. This is where the Toastmasters platform will teach you. In every Toastmaster meeting or in the Gavalier meeting, there is a time slot for two minutes or three minutes to test our listening skills. In that, you will be asked a question among, uh, from the meeting speeches. If you are like this, how can you? Rebecca, come on, you have to say. You trader, Rebecca. Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. So sorry to interrupt, but can you, uh, you said right now that uh, if someone gives a speech, then the, uh, then the judges will ask. So this will happen in grand finale, sir. What they will ask? They will ask between the speeches. What did you? No say? one will. No. Oh. no one will interrupt you. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. okay sir. It is your speech. Okay, you are five to seven minutes. You have to deliver your speech. In that five to seven minutes, no one will disturb. Pin drop silence. No video will be on. No audio will be on. Everything will be muted. Only you and the timer will be spotlighted. That's it. That seven minutes is yours. Okay, you trader, Rebecca, tell me how to update your Zoom in your laptop. Um, it usually comes up automatic for me. Sorry, again? Uh, if you, it's usually automatic for me. Okay, if you want to do manually, then? Uh, if I want to do it manually, I think I could just go to the Zoom settings. Where are they? Um. M, U, A, A counter. Today he's not there, okay. It's, um. um okay. <laughs> It's all the matters for me. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, I don't need okay. it manually. There are so many questions I have uh, I, I had here. Youth Raider Rice. Reese, sorry. Reese Xavier. Yes, sir. Tell me how to update manually. Now I have to pinpoint the question also. How to update your Zoom application manually? And yeah, there will be a notification shown in your Zoom to update. So <laughs> click the blur option so, or else go to the software website and search update. You can update the okay. Zoom software. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, let's go to Sarah Harris. So much enthusiastic, Yalla, come. Tell me. Uh, so I use Mac. So uh, when, you, when you take Zoom, the, on the top, the top left corner, it will be given uh, the full icon. Uh, the audio is not icon, uh, Zoom us meeting view and all those uh, meeting controls. When you if you take the uh, this uh, what do you call it the Apple icon, you will get a thing called system uh, system preferences, and in that you can take update the Zoom updates to come into your screen. Okay, this is a longer process. I do agree that you did a good job, and that's also correct. But I want shortcut. Uh, youth leader uh, Vanya. So because that she's saying for uh, actually Mac. Okay. Uh huh. So the process which uh, Sato on the on the right bottom uh, bottom right corner of the laptop, there's uh, near the volume button and batteries. There's one arrow. If you have to click on the arrow, and uh, over there there will be a zoom icon. On that icon, we have to right click and it, uh, you have to check for updates. Very good. Okay. This is common for most of the laptops. Okay. Since there is Mac or other such uh, devices. Yes, Benjamin. You three to Benjamin. Sir, like, uh, sir in, the, in, in the bottom right, uh, there's a, there's a zoom, there will be a zoom uh, icon. Uh, Near the arrow, so uh, you have to right, you have to, uh, you have to right click it, and you see many options. In that, uh, there's an option name. Check for okay. updates, and you will, you have to click, click it. Fantastic, fantastic, dears. Very good. So I think now everyone knows how to update your application. 
Zoom application, raise your thumb if you agree. Excuse me, sir. Yes, please. Sir, you asked a question that how to update, uh, how to update the Zoom where it is not pinned to taskbar, sir. So if when there's uh, there's a page where you can where you have to join the meeting, you have to put the ID. There you will on the top right side you will see your icon. If you click yes. that, yes. Um, from down there is an option called check for updates. If you uh, click that, then the updates come. Yeah, yeah. There are so update. many ways. Yes, there are so, so many ways to update each and every youth leader who ever attempted this question is right. Fantastic. Please give everyone a virtual round of applause. Yes, touch your fellow youth leader, man. You know, yes, very good. Fantastic. I'm happy. Now, second question. What shall be your background while you are going to deliver your speech? Raise your hands. I will ask. What shall be what shall be your background when you are going to deliver your speech during the contest or during your normal meetings? Okay, youth leader Evelyn, tell us. It should be a solid color. Solid color, okay. Youth leader Inyan, tell me. Yes, Hello. sir. Uh, Toastmaster, like Jayad had given us many options. First, he told it can be filled or non filled also. If we want filled, we can keep like uh, what he had kept. Or else, if we want it to be plain, we can hang a cloth which can cover our entire background or our frame. Or like we can uh, use like a bookshelf or chair or like that also. I think, so yes, uh, uh, it to yes. very good. Uh, youth leader Inian, I think you posted some uh, white paper on your wall or uh, what you did? Some markings is there. It's just... Uh, no, sir. It's just plain wall. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Good, good, good. Fantastic, uh, youth leader Inian. So, dear youth leaders, hope you all understand. Youth leader Jisha, youth leader uh, Sam Thomas, at the moment, I can see youth leader Sarah Harris, youth, youth leader Osman Hussein, youth leader Inyan, a bit dull, but it's okay. So like that, you need to, it will be better. It will be better, but is it good or not suggestible if we use virtual background? Say yes it's not or so say no. Not so see, like this, give me, if it is yes, if it is no, you three to party. I didn't understand, sir. Ah, is this okay. no, sir, not suggested. Not suggested. Is it suggested? Is it good if you use virtual background or no? Ah, Parthiv came into action. Very good. Sarah Harris, where is your answer? Oh, what is that? Okay, fantastic. So it is suggested not to use 100% virtual background, no. Okay, try to use plain background or something like me, since I have the banners, I have the awards, I just kept to showpiece, you know. I'm a showman. So, like that, if you want to show something, no virtual background, Osman Hussain. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, so that is better. To... That is the cover, the problem. Okay, no problem. Very good. Now, last question. Is it good? Oh, so many people raised your hands. Let's come from one by one. Youth leader, one year. Tell me, you have raised your hand. Virtual rise, you, no, you, you raised your hand. No, by mistake, I, uh, okay. at that time I raised and I forgot to remove it. Okay, lower your hands if you don't want to ask any question. If you want to ask any question, raise your hand, no problem. Evelyn, Benjamin. Benjamin, do you have any question? Okay, very good. Now everyone cleared your questions, okay?
now last question before we go to next session from our friend our mentor our guide toastmaster what's his name i forgot yeah my friend name also i i forgot okay anyway it will come automatically uh, okay toastmaster jay john i want to hear from you all very good okay final question my dear youth leaders is it Yes. Is Sorry again. Who is that? Battery is ending, so I want to charge it. So I. Ah, okay, okay, no problem. Battery is ending, so I want to charge. Sure, charge it. It's it's important. Without that, we cannot see you. <laughs> okay. Is it good or bad if we use notes during our speeches? See, there are two types of notes, as far as I know, because I'm a I. <laughs> to be frank with you all it's a secret huh? it's it's a, it's a secret now i'm going to reveal i wrote my exams when i was i am in the school copy paste control c control d okay and i also used some slips notes on my hand i just saw like this and i uh, one palm i used to write four pages in the exam okay just just kidding uh, how did you copy <laughs> paste <laughs> back then <laughs> good questions okay let me know let us know there are okay now here two types of notes are there actually one is a hard copy where we can put some notes like uh, bullet points and we can keep on the keyboard like this you can see okay see like this i kept on my keyboard okay and while speaking maybe i can just see like this and then i can continue my speech second type of notes is that i, I sometimes huh? not always i use it to keep ms word the bullet points on the screen itself half of the screen i can see you all half of the screen i can see my notes so that i can deliver my my speech but this is wrong this is 100% wrong we means i am cheating on myself if i do like that i cannot develop myself i cannot develop my speaking skills correct so is it suggestible is it good if we use any of this type of notes no sam thomas you tell sam thomas tell me the answer no she sure, we shouldn't use these type of notes while sorry. delivering our speeches sorry again we shouldn't use these type of notes while delivering our speeches very good who will support this statement parthiv okay for me upside down vanya yes vanya yes or no you yes like this. yes okay that means you so, we, we 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 should not use notes right vanya yes sir no <laughs> no sir we should ah, we shouldn't yes. use the notes and i support uh, youth leader sam okay very good very good okay so dear youth leaders it is my suggestion for your development not for me i already developed done uh, now we are spending our time for you people for your development of your communication skills your leadership skills because you are our future right so if you are using notes while you are delivering your speeches that means you are literally cheating on yourself if you want to develop 100% your communication skills what you have to do okay i will ask one by one give different suggestions huh? number one um, youth leader jubair what you have to do if you want to develop your communication skills uh, in communication skills it's better if you practice That's uh, it. like in front okay, of done, done 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 one is practice number two youth leader jahin
what you have yes, to sir. do second see you are doing something and we are do, doing something you are not paying attention you have to pay attention otherwise this situation yes sir may i may i request you to please repeat the question i'm sorry you trader jisha what will be the second one it is important for us to write our speech ourselves so that we deliver by your own by your own there is something to stress that if you want to deliver your speech you develop on your own you develop script on your own you can you can send that script to your mentor for review and suggestions implement those suggestions in your script and then practice again come back to the point number 1 practice then give demos to your mother father sister siblings etc or your mentor and then give yourself with your mirror i did uh, to be frank with you all i did my eyes break after giving 10 times in that two times with with uh, mirror two times with my younger son three times with my wife finally with my mentor and then i delivered my eyes breaking speech till then i never gone to give that speech yes vanya sir if we use mirror for uh, to look in the mirror and then see if ourselves hmm. then half the time we'll be fixing our hair and beautifying ourselves sir <laughs> <laughs> yeah even if you if you observe if you might have been observed sometimes in this particular frame in this meeting also some people like me used to do like this you know like this and then like this you know it will happen but ultimately you should be 100% work for you for yourself you are right sometimes it will happen but most of the time at least you will get success yes vanya no sir no sir we will look uh, first we look at ourselves then we look at the paper then we look at ourselves again and then we we'll find a dress which matches the uh, this the same dress and you can spend maybe half an hour one hour after that ultimately you will come back to your after speech. that if, if you are practicing so and we might have like a fixed time so uh, after that time we might have to go and do some other work for example if we are practicing between our uh, in during a vanya, break vanya vanya sorry to interrupt we have a aim vanya so if we if we have a name we'll fix it and we will we'll achieve it so achieve for your goal vanya that's my request okay thank you thank you so much so vanya or any other youth leaders spend or spare your time for your dress up or whatever but when you are when you came for the practice with the mirror or with your parents or with your siblings concentrate on that okay dears very good well done so ultimately the conclusion is that not to use notes we may think that people don't know whether we are using notes or not but our glasses will speak our eyes will speak with the judges they are intelligent they are distinguished toastmasters they are experienced toastmasters whatever we do the viewer 100% will come to know no one will say during the grand finale that you used because of the notes you could not win no one will say but the judgment is based on our quality that is whether we are using notes or not whether we are using facial expressions hand gestures body language the content in the speech the english the structure of the speech that means opening body conclusion right whether we are using good quotations opening and closing quotations timing okay dears so keep all these things with your in your mind and practice it now we have given enough 
rest to our <laughs> Toastmaster Jayad. Let's welcome back with our thunderous virtual round of applause, virtual Toastmaster Jayad George. Very nice. Okay. Great. Thank you so much, everyone, and welcome back. Okay. Now, what I would like to do is if if everyone is comfortable i would like to stress a few points again with regard to what i had spoken just some time back that is one thing what again dj rao had specified i know it's human and people have tendencies but yes do avoid putting bullet points or notes anything on your desktop so just try to avoid it. You guys are wonderful speakers. See, now, Sarah, Indian, Benjamin, Jisha, there are so many of you guys. I'm just mentioning just a few, but many of you and all of you actually are wonderful speakers and you guys all have the talents to speak out and do wonderful performances. So, Try to avoid putting any bullet points, any notes, or any such thing on your desktop. So it's viewable for you and which makes it easier for you. But unfortunately, it's the judges are very smart. We have been in the virtual platform for almost like close to 10 months. So I especially have been working on the Zoom. For your Zoom, for your youth leader programs, which was happening a few weeks ago, a few months ago, I was the one who was controlling it. So in and out, even judges are aware of what's going on. Okay, so be as truthful as possible to your own self. Okay, now that's one thing. Second thing, with regard to the lighting, I had mentioned different sources of light. Now there are situations where the laptops or the computers are positioned in such a way that the window is at the back, right? There are certain situations I actually skipped my mind. And thank you so much, uh, DTM uh, Merlin for pointing that out. The thing is, if there is light coming from the back, it again obstructs your view. You get darkened off, completely shaded off because the thing is the camera captures the light and whatever, is, whatever the object is in front of the light gets darkened off, okay, or shaded off. So practically you won't be visible. That's going to be a big issue. So if you have anything like that, either completely black out the background where there's sunlight coming in, completely black it out, or move the position. Move it to the opposite way. That's natural light coming in. Move to the opposite way. Move, circle your laptop to the opposite direction. You get the sunlight from that area, like how the, I'm getting the light, and it will be perfectly natural light. It'll be excellent. Okay, so I just wanted to mention, uh, emphasize on these two points. Um, pretty much, that's it. If anyone in this moment has yes, Devashri, okay, yes, go ahead, Devashri. Once more, the lighting. Sorry. Can you show your lighting once more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm just switching on the camera to the back. Okay. There. See? It's actually on a stand. We get to purchase this as a set. Okay. So. This is, that is the, it's actually these kind of lighting is used for, one second. Yeah. Okay. These sort of lighting is used for uh, photography because it's very bright. And now I'm not using anything on top of it. It is a pure L LED screen. Okay. It's full of LED screens. I mean, full of LED bulb, micro bulbs. So it's pretty bright. You can adjust the brightness. However, to soften the brightness, be it anything, even if you put a lamp in front of you for, for the light source, cover it with tissue. If you cover it with a long roll of tissue, it softens the light which is coming out. So as, like, like I said before, using the, with regard to the sound, 
carpets furniture and everything dampens the sound just like that the tissue dampens the brightness and gives you soft lighting okay yes sir okay. thank you sir you're most welcome to devshree hold on okay okay now for example this is an another form of led light okay this is for general this is for everyone okay okay now if i'm keeping it right in front of me see my appearance has changed considerably okay you can just position this anywhere you can just position this anywhere mark it accordingly look at the brightness see i switched off my original lighting and now i'm on the bulb okay so that has changed a lot on the lighting so that makes a huge difference okay great it is just a demo so you can use all these kind types of different sources okay i would like to go one by one if everyone is okay with that i would like to go one by one okay now let's start off with one more question okay i want you all to raise your hands okay one more question how many as ums vagaras yani matlab did i use during my whole 50 minute presentation raise your hands if anybody has a count on it okay youth leader cavalier abdullah yes abdullah go ahead sir you might sir like as per my view you have only used like two times sir only two times as a thank count you. you have only used it two times okay thank you very much now the reason thanks abdullah the reason i have requested everyone to note that or why i have asked the question is because it is the fluency of your speech i had noticed now as soon as etm rao had asked everyone okay had asked everyone a certain question a specific question and he had requested one person to answer the first thing what came to his or her speech was uh unfortunately we as gaveliers who have actually practiced a speech who has gone through many major roles in a club is supposed to avoid all these kinds of speech issues so that's why in every toastmasters club we have an hour counter and very unfortunate again i'm specifically saying it very unfortunate many toastmasters still have this issue so i'm emphasizing i'm requesting all of you when you are talking be mindful do not when you are thinking it is built into us when you are talking it is built into us that when you are thinking uh it happens try to avoid it whenever you're talking you give it a gap give it a small gap no issues but try to avoid the us the ums it's called fillers pauses long pauses short pauses filler words try to avoid it look at the fluency what you get and when you are presenting look at the fluency you get the perfection you get it will be stunning you guys will be amazing on the stage great now i'm going to go one by one i hope i have time for all that okay i'm going to quickly go one by one okay i'm going to start with to uh, gavalier vanya okay gavalier vanya what is your frame of speech or your video frame when you're going to present your speech is it the same place where you are sitting right now no sir actually i sit in a different position if you okay. want i can go there if, if you, you want know. i can uh, show you my actual position that would be appreciated if you can quickly go there i don't want to waste much time i'll be very specific i'll be on the spot and i'll move on quickly
Vanya, we don't have much time. Be quick. Yes, sir. Okay, so you will be doing your contest speech in this background. Am I yes, right? Sir. Perfect. Yes, sir. You have. So, like I had explained earlier. I'll be standing like this. Perfect. Perfect. That is good. Could you just wind your hands? Oh, that is perfect. Yes. You have the ample, but you just have to make sure you have enough headroom. Yes. Your side is perfect. That is great. You just have to make, make sure you have the correct headroom. Your lighting is pretty good. Not bad at all. Okay. Great. Thank you, Anya. Thank you so much. So you're... Go ahead. When you got disconnected. Okay, I'll come. Sorry, voice is cracking. I can't. Uh... Okay, is my voice clear right now? Sir, clear. Yes, sir. That's clear. <clears throat> sir, might okay. be network issues for the. Yeah, network issues. It comes and goes. Okay, Vanya, your lighting is good. It's fine. Your area, what you have showed when you had showed your hand span, it's very good. Okay. Vanya, are you able to hear me? You're frozen. Yes, sir. For me also, she's frozen. Okay. Okay. I'm moving on. We'll come back to Vanya later. Okay. Next, I would like to move on to Gavalier Reese. Quickly. Reese, is that your speaking area? Sir, can you see me? It's like so bad. Okay, one second, Reese. Vanya, I will get back to you. Okay. Yeah, Reese. Okay, that is going to be your speaking area. Yes. Excellent. Do you have any yeah. source of light where you can keep it keep in front of you? Where you can brighten up yeah. your do you do yeah, I'm keeping this I'm actually keeping this light in front of me. Oh, that's great. Okay, okay. Fine, fine. Yeah. Excellent. So just make sure you need a bit of a headroom, okay? And as far as your hands, hand span is required, you just need that freedom. That's perfect. Hope you have the head, head space, okay? Yeah, you need to move the chair. Yes. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Reese. Thank you so much. Next. Uh, can we go on to Gavalier Devashri? Okay. Yes, sir. I will set the stage now. Can you please continue with the next new leader? No problem. That's, that's very innovative. Thank you. Benjamin, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes. Benjamin, is that your speaking camera frame where you are sitting at? Are you going to talk from that frame? Uh, yes, yeah, sir. From here, yeah. Okay. Yes. Sir. Quickly, quickly, could you just stand up and show me how your measurement, how you're going to present? Okay. If you don't mind, could you close the door? Oh, so there's uh, there are some items behind the thing. It's fine. It's fine. No issues. No issues. Okay. Okay. And that's fine. You can do that later. No issues. Okay. So just make sure you keep the door closed so you have a clear background. Okay. okay. And again, handspan, headspace, and your your perf you're perfect. That's very good. Okay. Thank you so much, Benjamin. Okay, Devashree, can we get back to you? Yes, sir. Excellent. Okay, so Devashree, this is going to be your. That's great. Okay, you're very visible. You have ample headspace, and you have. And when you span your hands, you have all the space you have. You're comfortable. Perfect. Two yes, steps sir. you can take to the right. Two steps you can take to the left. Right. Perfect. That's great. And. One more thing, I see that you have a lot of empty walls. Do you have an echo over there? No, sir. I do feel there is a small amount of echo. Can you say a line that continuously just to listen to the audio? Yes, sure. Your workshop was very helpful. I got to know more about the Zoom platform settings. So my D. 
heartfelt gratitude for you. Fine, thank fine. you very much. Thank you, Devashri. Um, unfortunately, there is kind of an echo. So if you could maybe, I need to think on how we can reduce the echo in your room. There is slight echo there, okay? So I'll get back to you. Let me have a think, thought about it and I'll get back to you, okay? Thank you so much, Davis. Thank you. Thank you. You're most welcome. Next, Gavalier Sara. Yes, Youth Leader Sara. Uh, sir, I usually, when I, we have to attend the sessions, I sit here. But because I'm a bit tall and uh, I'm using a laptop, I normally put it in this place. Okay. So that's where you'll be positioning the laptop. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Just make, yeah, perfect. That's good. That's good. And yes, just make sure that you don't switch. <laughs> just, no, no, no. Switch it off. Yes. I was going to say that. Just make sure you don't switch on the light at the back. Perfect. Thank you so much. That was quick and that was perfect. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you so much. Partiv. Yes, sir. Yes, Pante. So could you tell me on where you're going to perform your speech? Are you going to do it at the, at the spot where you're sitting, standing at? This is how I keep my uh, are, are you going speaking to stand, Okay, are you going to stand this close to the laptop? No, sir, I'm going to go back. Okay, but your headphone is limiting you. Are you going to no, use the sir, headphones? I, I can't speak without my headphones or else the audio will go a little down. Why don't we quickly have a look at that? Why don't you unplug the headphones and start talking? Okay, sir. Uh, now you can hear me? You're more clearer. It's perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, okay, sir. Yeah, it's perfect. Thank you so much. Just So just make sure you have your waist height visible okay and okay perfect perfect that's it you have ample headspace you have ample head span and hand span perfect okay thank you so much Parthi. excellent okay. thank you sir. Okay. yes a quick review karen yes sir this is the place where i sit I'm sorry, Karen. Can you you're hear me? Up. Yeah, you're audible, but you're breaking up. Uh, uh, we have another meeting here. I think that is the problem. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, I understand. See, what I would suggest to all the youth leaders and also the Toastmasters, when you are getting ready for a meeting, see, the routers or the modems which we are using are not 100% perfect, okay? Because we are using the default devices provided by the provider, be it STC, be it mobile, be it Zane, be it anyone. The thing is, after you use it for a while, there is a depreciation in the performance. What I would suggest when you're starting a meeting, switch it off for a minute or two and switch it back on. Okay, that refreshes the connection and you're back online in full speed. Again, it will depreciate, but it will be better for the whole meeting. Done? Okay, so I would suggest everyone to restart their modems or keep it switched off for one or two minutes and restart it again so you will have a good bandwidth. <clears throat> now, can we, yes, youth leader Divya. So are you going to stand yes. there and perform the speech? Yes, sir, in this position. Excellent, okay. Now the thing is, do you use carpets in your room? Do you, Sorry, have, sir? Do you have a carpet? Ground carpet? No, sir. No, okay, so you are on tiles. 
but you have a lot of space around you that yeah. create an echo again i'll have to think on what is to be done are you able to fill in some furniture in your room so you can dampen the noise there is a lot of echo going on over there it's a suggestion if you can dampen oh, the noise that'll be good however you are audible there is a slight echo but you are audible there's no issues at all okay Right. Thank you so much, Divya. Who's next? Yeah. Zubair, yeah. why have you used a virtual background? It is just for today, sir. I don't. Uh, I will not use it on the day uh, okay. when I'm presenting. This is just for uh, today. Do you have anything to hide in the background? Of course not. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding, Zubair. It's okay. So, okay. Now, Zubair, I just want to quickly check your distance from where you are presenting and how you're going to present. Is it okay? You can do that right now. Great. Okay. Perfect. So, if you could remove your headphones, unplug it from the... You're using a laptop or a desktop? A laptop. Perfect. Okay. You have unplugged it. And now could you go and stand where you're supposed to give out the speech? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Please adjust the head view. Okay. Zubair, you can go back a bit more. I need your headspace. Oh, great. That's enough. Perfect. Now, can you say something? Sir, is it audible? It's very audible. Yes, yes. See, you can do great without the headphones. Perfect. Thank you so much, Zubair. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, now I'm cutting it short. The thing is, now, from all these examples, everyone must have got an idea on what's going on. So how the background should be and how the atmosphere is supposed to be. Carol, would you like to give it a shot? Yeah, sure. Great, okay. Uh, actually, I use AirPods when I uh, do for speech and. Okay, but are you using a desktop or a laptop? Laptop right now. Okay, but um, <clears throat> fine. Are you able to perform your speech without the earpods? Uh, no, I guess. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, no issues. Just give it a shot. Now you're using a Bluetooth headset, right? Or is it wired? It's wired. 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 Okay. So you will have when we will have another mock session. And through that, we will have everyone demonstrate the speeches. So we'll come, we'll come to know on that specific stage on how effective the audio uh, audio clarity is for all the members, all the youth leaders. Okay. The gavels. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Carol. Like I said. Everyone can take this as an example. And okay, one of the gavaliers or one of the youth leaders would want to try it out. So yes, uh, youth leader, Evelyn. So okay. yeah, I can hear you. Okay, perfect, yes. You got enough. You got enough hand span. Hand span. Yes. Perfect. And you got headspace. Can you yes. speak a few sentences? Yes. Uh, am I audible now? You could raise the volume a bit more. Um, am I audible now? Perfect. Excellent. You're good. You're good to go, Evelyn. Okay. Your room is well lighted, so there's no issues with the lighting. Okay. Thank you so much, Evelyn. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. And see, with many, I'm getting many questions with regard to the background. See, it's it's not a problem at all. It's my humble suggestions which I put forth. That is, you could cover it with a curtain. You can cover it with a solid cloth. You can um, move to a certain area or something. It's all suggestions. If you have sofas, if you have your television in the background and you find that area comfortable in terms of the lighting, in terms of your audio clarity, your audio, your the distance between your laptop and yourself, and you have the span, you have the area, not a problem at all. You can use that background. 
okay as long as it does not distract you you are the contestant as long as it doesn't distract you feel free to use it not to worry okay don't get stressed out with what i have suggested not to worry at all great okay now it's an open session if anyone has any sort of questions please please do feel free to shoot it out but can you check my background sure who is it uh is it evelyn who had requested this no sir neha okay neha yes sir oh. is this correct a bit okay. more towards the back can you move one step back okay perfect um so neha, this okay <clears throat> neha you, do you have two beds at the back of you yes sir that's mm -hmm. one on your right and one on your left okay okay fair enough i don't find that a distraction not to not a worry your background is fine i don't have any complaints at all no issues okay, okay? thank you sir you're most welcome neha not a problem your your audible will you be using the headphone uh, most probably no sir most probably yes or no 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 perfect okay okay so during the mock session just make sure that your audio is clear that's for everyone okay perfect any questions yeah. Is my background uh, perfect? Usman. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Uh, see, Usman, like, uh, are you using a laptop or a desktop? Laptop. Laptop. See, when you're using a laptop, there is no requirement for you to come forth towards the laptop to make yourself heard. Okay. You are perfectly audible. You can sit. You uh, you can talk where you are sitting, and it's clearly audible. No issues. Okay. Now the thing is, you have put a blanket or a sheet on top of your bunker bed, right? You yeah. can retain that. It's the only thing is that you just have to arrange it a bit more neat. Keep it tucked. Okay. That will help you a lot. Other than that, it's perfectly fine as long as. the distance between you and the laptop and the lighting all is okay you're good to go no issues but if you move a bit towards your left side or your right i'm i'm not sure i'm getting confused i think it's your right yeah no if you move the laptop yes if you move the laptop view towards your right okay yeah perfect hold it there hold it there okay now if you could stand and go back to your position where you're going to talk one oh this is good this is good yeah it's fine okay um can you unmute yourself and just talk a few sentences hello am i audible good evening everyone this is usman perfect it's fine it's fine yes okay thank you so much usman thank you anyone else in a few minutes i'll be Sir, so can you check my background? No problem. Sure, sure, Afra. So yes, yeah, you'll have to adjust it. Excellent. If you could go back one more step. Yeah. Okay. You have space at the back, isn't it? Yes. Okay. And you have enough headroom. Your side. You have enough space. Just uh, could you just talk a few words again so I can just hear the audio? Hello, everyone. Myself, Afra Rajhan, and. I am from group B. Perfect. Thank you so much Afra. You're do you're doing great. It's perfect. Yes, um Devashri? Yes, sir. So I have a doubt. Sure. When we are delivering a speech, which is better to use a desktop or mobile phone in accordance to the voice clarity, video clarity and the angle. See, the thing is there is quite a lot of differences when it comes to a laptop or a desktop or a smartphone okay you can set up a smartphone with a stand right in front of you and you can perform wonderfully there's no issues the only hassle with a smartphone is you might find it a bit confusing you can't pin any windows so you will have to swipe towards you can pin yes you can pin that is you have to double click on the timer icon 
So that will, that is the only video window that is going to show up. Okay. So that's going to create a small confusion during the process. However, if you are used to it, I don't have any issues. The judges won't have any issues because as long as your video is clear, your audio is clear and you're positioned and you have your space, your camera frame all set, feel free to use it. Why not? Desktops, they don't have a built-in mic. That is an issue. And it's, it's a laptop, like what I'm using right now. You don't need any accessories. You're feel free to use. You can put it up wherever you want, which height, however you want it. Okay. I hope that answers your question. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, dear Shri. Okay, so youth leaders, I am guessing I don't have, there aren't any more questions. And okay, yes, Vanya, be to the point. Yeah, so actually from my other laptop, the one which I usually use, uh, the audio does not connect. I mean, it does connect, but I have to use the earphones to listen, to speak. Otherwise, you cannot hear me. I'll be unmuted and I'll be speaking, but you will not be able to hear me unless I plug in the earphones. Vanya, it's always recommended. It's just a temporary thing. No, You're sir. Not it's, going been, to talk for such a... it's been going on Go for quite some time, sir. No, but Vanya, what are you using right now? Now I'm using uh, another laptop. No, yeah. So what I recommend is to just for that day, move the laptop aside, which is faulty, which you are finding issues with. Use the laptop, which is perfectly working just for that day. It's a very important day for all of you youth leaders. Use a good, good laptop for that day. So you'll be clear, you'll be audible and visible. Okay. Yes, sir. But actually, I find it more easier to use that laptop because this is my brother's office laptop and he uses this uh, most of the times. So I try to use that most of the times, but then it's just too faulty. What I would suggest is to remove that fault. Either it can be a software complaint or it can be a hardware complaint. Since you are going to continue using that laptop, I would suggest either repairing it as soon as possible or fixing the software as soon as possible okay please do go okay, ahead and sir. prepare and get the issue resolved thanks Vanya. you're welcome great youth leaders thank you so much it was an awesome session and I really enjoyed it. You guys were definitely very interactive and I really hope I have conveyed what I wanted to, to all of you clearly. I really hope that. Again, I wish you all the very best for the upcoming contest. God bless, thank you. Over to you. I'm passing the virtual laptop, virtual platform to you, DTM Rao. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you. so much our dearest friend our toastmaster in technology team toastmaster jay george for your time valuable time for sparing with us to share all your knowledge which you gained through this all these years dear youth leaders is it good if we can give a big thunderous round of virtual applause to our Toastmaster Jayad? Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, let us acknowledge today we have with us our president of Eloquent Speakers Toastmasters Club. Toastmaster Vijay Lakshmi, may I request to say a few words about today's meeting or your valuable suggestions to our youth leaders? Toastmaster Vijaya, 
the president of Eloquent Speakers Toastmasters Club. Fine. Let us move on to our immediate past Area 52 Director, Toastmaster Minuri Vijayashekara. May I request our Toastmaster Minuri Vijayashekara to please share your knowledge on this Zoom platform with our youth leaders. Toastmaster Minuri Vijayashekara. Yes, she is there. Let me ask her to unmute. Toastmaster Minuri. Toastmaster Minuri. Now, let's move on. Our current Area 52 Director, Toastmaster Merlin Albin. May I request you to please share your knowledge with our youth leaders, Toastmaster Merlin Albin. Oh, she left. Oh, so very good. All are left for today. Sir, yes, it's a hat trick, sir. <laughs> it's a hat trick. Three people together. Yes, yes. Well, okay. Let me conclude with the points which I taken note, noted down during our uh, workshop presentation by our Toastmaster Jayad. Number one is that you need to do demo practice with whomever you, it is possible. It can be mirror, it can be your siblings, it can be your mother, father, anyone, or with your friend or with your mentor. If mentor is not available with me, I am available after 3 p.m. every day till 10 p.m. every day. So just ping me if you want to deliver your demo, I can be happiest person to suggest you, okay? Number two is that update your Zoom application. Number three is that remove your virtual background, keep your background plain. Don't try to use notes, try to avoid notes by practicing your speech. Show your facial, hand gestures, body language through your speeches. Most important, before starting your speech, never say, am I audible? Am I visible? Because we know if you are not audible, we will stop you and we will ask you to adjust. If you are not visible, we will ask you. We have Sergeant at Arms placed for this job, appointed for, for this job. So as a speaker, it is better always not to say these two things. Am I audible? Am I visible? You are visible, you are audible, okay? Now, another important is that keep your internet connection stable, at least for the contest. Make sure that your, your internet connection is in its place, is good enough to serve you for that contest, or at least for your speech. Okay, then it's better, it is suggestible not to use wired headphones. Try to practice without headphones because all your laptops or, laptops or devices are fair enough to capture your voice and we are good. Okay, then don't try to lean to say Something, that is what, just now I told that the laptops or the talking devices are fair enough to capture your audio, your voice. So just show your body language and speak. Can you, is my voice audible? Fair enough? Raise your thumb. 
I am very far from my laptop, but you are all can hear it, right? And I am not using any audio devices. And my laptop is six years old, by the way. Now, so avoid while speaking, don't lean, just be strong, show your confidence. More, most important thing, don't get panic. Whatever it happens during the contest, before your speech, don't get panic. Cool yourself. We are here to support you. Okay? Don't get nervous. Be confident always. If you lose confidence, you fail. 100% I am sure. If you are confident, you are the winner. That also I am sure. I am confident, I am doing my job. Be confident, you do your job. Whether it is winning or losing, that's different. Leave it to the God. But you should do your job by practicing, by giving demos, by having a good content speeches, by giving your deliveries with good opening, body, and then conclusion. These are the secrets one can taste the success. This is the mantra as someone says, right? Mantra, what is the mantra for the success? Practice, practice, practice with supportive environment. That is the best. The rest of the things you can leave it on the God. The judges will take care about our success. Any questions? I can give you five minutes. Now it is 9.22. Uh, sir, I have a question. Yes, please. Uh, uh, for like the final grand finale, like uh, can we uh, uh, tell the older speech but edited version or we need a new drafted speech? Okay. Good question, this one. Okay. Why I told you good, good question is that it is always better start practicing from now at least a new perfect speech. Why I told new, okay. the old one, which you have already delivered maybe one times, two times, three times, maybe during several contests, during several meetings, maybe people may get bored. With that, okay. maybe the judges might have been listened your speech witnessed your speech in some other place. Okay. If they again come to judge, for example, I'm just giving an example. Okay. Maybe there's a chance that they may lose interest. May, because they are also human beings, right? So they may get lost the, the interest and you may affect. So try to get it new one, practice it, start from now. We have three weeks. We have say this one, two, three. I'm, I'm going to have, we are going to have, not I'm going to have, we are going to have our grand finale in the last week of December. These three weeks from now, whenever you want, of course, every Sunday we have this mock session, but whenever you want to give demo, whenever you want to display your skills, I'm available, mentors are available. Okay, practice it. Any other so question? Next week we have to practice speech. So, yes, next week, Next Sunday, same time, we are going to have the mock session. The prepared speakers in group A, group B are going to deliver their speeches and the table topic speakers, they will attempt the table topics from both groups. Yes. Any other question? Yes, sir, actually, um, sir, actually uh, sometimes if 
you will uh, sometimes uh, when the net is not proper in our uh, sometimes very rarely the net just goes and i just get out of the meeting and then again join back and it just uh, i just get scared a lot when this happens and then i just can't calm down for the next 5 minutes mm. so no problem i just okay. i i, not, I have uh, the answer i have the answer for you i have the answer for you any youth leader unfortunately because of due to technical issues like internet connection or device problem something when you are going to deliver your speeches if it happens for example we can wait i think it is a 30 seconds 30 seconds we will wait for you to come back if not possible if it could not happen due to youth leaders because you are all kids so we we will give another chance means we will go ahead with the order with the speaking slots then at the end of the last speaker we will give you opportunity to come back and deliver your speech in the meantime you can fix your problems and be ready with your equipment and with your voice with your internet till yeah. then also if it is if it could not happen we can't help got my point yes vanya anything yeah. last two three minutes like two three minutes before uh, your name is being called you get out to the meeting and then you join back and then some my heart just starts racing because i am just too scared that hoping and i'll just be hoping that i just don't come out again Don't during worry. when i'm speaking don't worry if that happens be in touch with me send me whatsapp message from any device and i will inform to the chief judge the problem then the chief judge will take decision will be in a position to support you not only you anyone who ever in that such situations sorry okay sir thank you sir actually is another meeting yes any other question please we have 2 minutes 928 at 930 we will have a group photo and then we will adjourn dear president are you available uh, toastmaster vijaya okay so any questions this is what i want to give sir, you the technical sir. knowledge yes who is that sir uh, sir it's you you tell it abdullah sir where are you sir during the where are you where are you i can't see you sir see i'm here sir go ahead yeah sir, go ahead uh, during the grand finale sir during the grand finale when we are delivering our table topics and uh, if the network it continue it disconnects <laughs> so when we join back we, will we have the opportunity to do it again let us see uh, table topics I, i according to me from my core of my heart i will try to support i will request our chief judge to facilitate for another opportunity we will we may be in a position to support no worries opportunity uh, will will there be different topic or the same topic ah in that case a different topic only of course yes for sure <laughs> okay sir aha okay sir who much intelligent okay <laughs> okay any other question okay Ah okay very good very good let us sing birthday wishes to our gavelier jisha tomorrow she is going to have 
but today let's open your mics let's wish her a very happy birthday happy birthday to you happy birthday happy birthday to you happy birthday to you where is jisha Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Jisha. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, Jisha. Okay, Jisha, we all will come to your house. Be ready to give us treat. Yes, sir. Always welcome. Fantastic. You three, just be ready. <laughs> good, good. Happy birthday, dear. God bless you. and god be with you by showering all his blessings on you by fulfilling all your wishes great day thank you okay dear gavali uh, youth leaders let us have a group photo then we will adjourn okay raise your thumb everyone put on your camera on we have two screens gavali and neda yes youth leader shoheb suheb okay very good afra araz khan youth leader afra youth leader guest arosh okay who else neha youth leader neha youth leader evelyn okay fantastic photo means everyone will come online very good okay first screen i'm going to take with the uh, smiling faces please sam thomas where is your smile yeah see very good one two one moment be there in that pose then second screen but don't change your yes one guest fariha okay no problem let's uh, smile last photo one two thank you thank you so much thank you everyone and all the very best second next week we are going to have the mock session so please be ready with your speeches table topics as well as prepare speeches the agenda will be published before monday sorry today is sunday right tomorrow monday yeah by tomorrow evening we will be publishing the agenda accordingly we will publish also the mentors and be ready with your speeches okay all the very best good night bye bye thank you sir good night thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir good night thank you sir thank you thank you sir Thank you very Bye -bye. much. Bye-bye. Good night.